Welcome back. Here is another morphological tree I want to generate with you using Liz Selkirk's proposals concerning a compositional structure of words. This has turned out to be very helpful for the analysis of present-day English derivatives. So here is another derivative for you. It is over generalization and this will be the result of our analysis. But how do we arrive at such a result? Well, let us again build the morphological tree step by step. As usual, you sh should start on an you should start using an empty sheet with the word you have to analyze written down at the bottom so that you have enough space on top of it because we're generating a tree structure right here. Step one, as usual in such morphological analysis exercises is you provide a morphological analysis, a simple analysis that is the analysis of the derivative into its base form and into its affixes. For reasons of readability, let's normalize all morphs orthographically or phonologically. That is, we use the defaults if possible. For example, ION for, in this case, the realization, generalization. So instead of the allomorph ation, we're using the default morph ION. The next step is we assign word classes to all the morphs. General is an adjective. Eyes turns adjectives into verbs, so the inherent word class is verb. And ION is nominal, is a noun. Well, it is not really a noun, but it turns verbs into nouns. The problem is over. Over has, as we will see in a second, no real constant or permanent or inherent word class. Okay, let's now start generating the tree structure. We start with the base form and combine it with a suitable affix to the left and right. And of course, the affix we can combine, we can take for the combination with general is eyes. Over general is not a word. You wouldn't find it in the corpora such as the British National Corpus. So we have to combine eyes with general. And now we can ask the question, what is the result? What is the category that has to be associated with the mother node? Well, to do this, we have to take the percolation conventions that were defined in the 1980s by Selkirk. Now, here they are again. And in this case, we can simply apply rule number one, which passes the features of the affix up to the first branching node. So we have this situation, generalize, is clearly a verb. Now we take this new base form, generalize, and combine it with another suitable affix. The problem here is that both affixes are suitable. There's a verb such as overgeneralize. There is also a noun like generalization. Well, what can we do? Well, we could perhaps quickly look the resulting word forms up in the British National Corpus and there we will find that overgeneralization is more frequent than overgeneralize, which by the way is spelled without a hyphen. So let's take over let's take generalization next. And this is then the new branching situation and again we need syntactic features for the new mother node and we can simply pass the features of the affix up to the new branching node, so generalization is a noun. Okay, and now we have to combine the prefix over with this new word form, with this new derivative, generalization, and it is of course this structure. And again we have to assign syntactic features to the new mother node, that is Okay, let's apply rule number one of the percolation conventions, which looks like this. The problem, however, is that the prefix over, as I've already said, has no real features. It can be attached to all sorts of base forms, such as overdo, overkill, overoptimistic, and so on and so forth. Hence, the mother node fails to obtain syntactic features. 
So we cannot really apply rule number one. It doesn't work. So what can we do now? Well, we take rule number two. If a branching node fails to obtain features, well, then we take the feature of the second daughter, which is in this case the noun. And we then have this new situation where rule number two of the percolation conventions now can be applied. And the final result is that overgeneralization is a noun. Okay, that's it. The print version of the solution is available in the VLC e-lecture library. Well, and if you want to see more trees, you have to join us and take part in our practicals or look more solutions up in our practicals, in our practical sheets, where we have more than 50 trees with structures of this kind. Thanks and see you again.